Hello and welcome to Grizzly and Bear Overland. We are Lee and Steffi and we have been traveling around the world in our current setup since 2017. Four months ago we made a big decision to go ahead and transform our Defender 130 into a two-doors space cap and tray back. The rebuild is happening here in Cape Town, South Africa, between two companies, Ponstein for the Defender part of things and Victi Tech for the flatbed and side storage boxes. It's a long and challenging journey, but overall pretty smooth. Previously, Bear was transported from Pondstein to Victic Tech, so exact measurements could be taken and stage two of the project could get started. On top of the vehicle work, we also decided to modify <laughs> and renovate our living space, a four-wheel camper. In the meantime, my husband Lee is away working offshore most of the time to finance this project. And I'm staying here in Cape Town, managing the project and helping as much as I can. That's our car in this boxer. Mm -hmm. Today I'm gonna go to Pondstein. The car returned to Pondstein for a lot of things that still need to be done. First of all, something that to me is the most important is the door alignment. I hope they can do something about that. Secondly, we ordered some uh, leather seats also a new cubby box we had the metal one before which was a little bit too low for lee for like driving wise it's not wasn't really comfortable we've got all the roof lining that need to be installed also a new steering wheel we're gonna have some new door hinges and some new windscreen brackets it will be painted black as well as the mirror wing arms those parts are parts in Land Rover's Defenders that can get a little bit funny like they go a bit bubbly light guards or light protection I don't know how to call them they also went sent to be painted so probably I can reinstall that we removed the checker plates on the bonnet this was also repainted because uh, all the paint was uh, uh, peeling away the bonnet also is in a pretty poor condition from like the corrugation I guess the two material uh, rubbing against each other maybe a little touch up on that another major point is the holes where the roll cage was those holes will be patched we have a hole from previous auxiliary tank that needs to be patched because we decided to remove the auxiliary tank front bumper we remove our big rib deluxe bull bar to save weight we wish to keep our winch we would like punk stain to fabricate a bumper a front bumper something very simple to incorporate the winch inside and just probably yeah the protection down the bottom snorkel we need to create a new bracket to fix the snorkel because it was fixed on the roll cage before the flexi pipe uh, need to be changed as well because it was fairly damaged and a lot of things mechanicals which i will not get into details at Pondstein, they've got the mechanic craig over there we really trust him and he will look after all of this part on top of all the rest of the work there's a lot of mechanical um, work to be done but we'll get it sorted for you guys so you guys can enjoy the journey further like I say, I'm not going to go into too much details for that. I think that's about it for now. So let's go. I'm going to drive there. It's about an hour drive. The weather is still pretty bad here in Cape Town. So I'm arrived.
I'm just basically moving everything a bit around and the rear panel must just come up a bit also. <laughs> cool. In our endeavor to strip and cut kilograms as much as we can, we have decided to remove our very big, heavy, rigid framed solar panels from the roof and replace them with flexi panels. We did have a one bad experience with the flexi panels. I think it was just a poor quality panel. From all the research and advice that I have uh, come across as I've been looking into it, the flexi panels have come a long way. We're gonna get some marine uh, quality panels. Uh, they're, they're the really good ones and the weight saving is phenomenal. In fact, we're gonna add an extra 165 watt. I think that's gonna come in at 12 kilograms Right now on the roof, oh, we had, I've just removed them, we had 36 kilograms. Today's mission is cleaning the top of the roof as we remove the solar panels. It's a big mess, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Our previous panels were fixed onto some aluminum angles. Those were screwed and ticket flexed to the roof. Uh, that's seem gonna go. Good. Perfect. Great engineering here. <laughs> that's some very strong uh, Japanese ticket flex. I don't know what we used, but we were very paranoid about leak in the roof. Thank you, Ian. One down, five to go. We also decided to upgrade our entire electrical system, making it safer and more efficient. This is done by a professional electrician, Jonathan. To fix our flexi solar panels, we wanted one, to stay away from Sika Flex, two, to use lightweight materials, three, to allow a good airflow underneath the panels to avoid overheating. We opted for some 10 mm polycarbonate. Jonathan detailed the big panels into strips, lots of strips. To mount the panels, we will be using heavy-duty industrial adhesive velcro. So total we have six rolls, 60 meters. So we have four of those? Huh? Yes. And they are 200? 165. 165, oh yeah. It takes a little bit of time just to mark it out and then stick it on in straight lines because you know velcro will tend to pull one way or the other.
I mean, I think this is going to stick pretty solid. It's yeah. While I was busy at Victitech with the new solar system, this was happening at Bernstein, a full Keswick respite of the Defender. It has been one week since I went to Bernstein and I'm on my way back today. We're going to spray those, make them nice again. Nice, thank you. We decided to keep our door handle protectors because they're not very heavy and they're part of Bear's identity. Nice and early. but they are shiny so we're gonna make them matte huh? thank you Some new 
your door seals. Putting on the glue. When I like carpet now. Wow. Awesome. Great job. That's our doors that's been covered. Nice. Leather and a little bit of stitching. Looks nice. I'm happy. I am starting another day at work at Palmstein. We are very, very close to completion. Good morning, Gustav. Good morning, how are you? Good. I'm well, thanks. What are you doing now? Ah, uh, today finishing up, starting with the seats. And it's cold this morning. Yeah. We need a little bit of coffee. <laughs> yes, keep you warm. Yeah. Now we're going to give that winch a bit of love. We're going to paint this black, I believe. We're going to spray this winch BPM black. It lasts longer and it's stronger than the normal matte black paint. What's DTM? It's a thicker paint. It's almost like a poxy coat. Nanji, Nanji, you can be a It's a bit rusty. Uh, I missed it. <laughs> okay. So this one is going to be spread later. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. I tried to reinstall the winch myself, but with electrical needed to be modified, I gave up. Everything is looking so nice and so new that this bash plate was looking a little bit not so nice. So Stefan said, get rid of it, it's getting to the paint shop. That is how it's going to sit now. Really? Clear from the bonnet and clear from the rear mirror? Uh, yeah. Open the door a little bit. Open, this open. Wait, 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 wait. Let me open here. Yeah. I see. Come. This one here. Yeah. It's clearing everything. The insert first. And then I just put a stitching on to the leather. Stretch it over. Just put a stitching on here. And then I weave through the stitching. Hand, Please by hand, no? By hand, yeah, just to pull it tight. I can't believe the car is almost completed. I'm extremely happy. They've done an amazing work. Just a few little finishing touches and this is it. Stage two will officially start. I was hoping we could finish today the snorkel, the winch and the bash plate, but actually the paint is not
quite dry and uh, we've touched it and we've put some fingerprints so maybe this will be done tomorrow morning I don't think I will be able to come tomorrow the next step will be the delivery at this high tech I believe Please join us next time for our crazy adventure on a French island that we fell in love with. Until then, take care, bye bye.